Good morning. Yeah, the waiting room is actually starting to fill up. We just checked it a few minutes ago, and there's about 10 veterans or so out there right now. But joining us is Deanna Parker. Uh, what time did you get here? You got here pretty early as well. At 10 to 6 this morning. All right, and just tell me what this means to you today to have the service provided. Actually, it ended up being a perfect day to have this because um, Monday morning I woke up and my filling had fallen out so it really ended up being perfect timing mm -hmm. and I think this is great that they're offering free service for the veterans because there's so many veterans out here who need service that's not available because they can't afford it I mean there's especially um, veterans that are on the low end of the scale of, of income Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your service and happy Veterans Day. And I hope thank they you. take care of you good this morning. And joining us over here, part of the Nash or Michigan National Guard, Dr. Lance Beers, thanks for joining us this morning. Oh, yeah, thanks for being here. And uh, going off of what Ms. Parker just said, talk about the need for this in this area. Yeah, as she said, you know, the, the veterans are a hugely underserved demographic in our population. <clears throat> I think there's eight to 9,000 vets just in this area alone, the Grand Traverse area, um, and only about 3% of them have even have access to dental care or even able to afford it. So we're just kind of doing our part today to do some fillings and extractions on some of these vets who really deserve it. Okay, now the vets can start coming in right now. I want you to hit on the different types of services they can receive today. Yeah, we're doing uh, just routine fillings, extractions. Um, we even have an endodontist that's willing to donate five root canals. We have a periodontist who's going to be donating um, uh, one gum surgery uh, at a value of $6,000. He's going to do it for free. And we have an oral surgeon, Wayne Olson, who is going to be uh, extracting teeth today. All right, and how long will this be going? Do people need to bring anything to get the service today? Yeah, we would like some form of identification, maybe your discharge papers or something just saying that you've been in the military. We're going to be going from uh, 8 to 2 today, roughly. All right, well, thank you so much, and we'll put all of this information and more up on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Traverse City, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News.